everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits. Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind... Um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is, all of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi, everyone. It's Jamie Zebra 23 I'm doing your tarot card of the day for February 15th, 2020. Um, keep in mind that these are general readings. They are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So it's for all zodiac signs, not for any one specific zodiac sign. For those of you that are going to rant and rave and say, Jamie Zebra 23 why don't you ever do individual readings? I do individual readings. The February 2020s are out for each individual zodiac sign, all 12. The um, the weeklies are out for all 12 zodiac signs individually. The X's and O's are out for all zodiac signs individually. What else? The dailies are the only readings that I do for all signs for the collective. All right, so tarot card of the day for February 15th, 2020. I hope everybody had an incredible Valentine's Day. Ooh, you got the four of cups in the reverse. Some of you are back on track with someone. With a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Okay. All right. It looks like an Earth sign is talking to a water sign. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. A lot of communication, guys. So some of you will be getting a call from a... Um, from a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Some of you from a Sagittarius or Aries. Some of you... Um, some of you, there's a there's a water sign from the past that's going to reach out, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. For some of you, it's a Taurus from the past that's going to reach out. Okay. Okay. Somebody wants to know if you're pregnant. Somebody, somebody wants to know something. Okay. And now we have the, we're the we have the King of Cups. We've got the Empress, the King of Cups. All right. And we got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Got the Knight of Cups. All right, we got the Knight of Pentacles. That's a lot of court cards. Let's see what else? What else? Okay, we got the Lovers card. Whoa, cards are flying. Okay, we got the Lovers card. We got the Six of Pentacles. This is a wild tarot card. Tarot card of the day. We got the Devil card here. I can't remember, but I think we got the Devil card in the in the last tarot card of the day. I can't remember. What is this about? Obsession with somebody's home. Obsession with what goes on in somebody's home. Let me see. Let me see. See something. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the cards in the shot, guys. Uh, uh. Is that all the cards? I can't see because it's so high up. <laughs> oh, I think that's all the cards. Okay, good. Okay. So here's what's going on. So like the day after Valentine's Day is when everybody wants to communicate, it looks like. So anybody who's looking to talk to somebody, they're contacting. Maybe because we're in retrograde territory, maybe because retrograde starting in officially in three days, we're already in the shadow period, but I guess we're kicking it off a few days early. If you guys have an ex, you're hearing from them. If there's an ex you don't want to hear from, you're hearing from your ex. They're going to do whatever it takes, whether they got to show up on your doorstep, whether they got to email you, whether they got to call you, whether they got to call you from a different number. Somebody wants you back. Somebody wants you back in their life. Somebody wants to talk to you, wants to see you, wants to have sex again, wants to kiss again. They're not stopping. This is all about them and all about what they want or all about what you want. Maybe you're the one that's going to be contacting your exes or a bunch of them. Um, if you guys did know a player, 
it looks like this player, whether it's a man or a woman, will be contacting maybe 10 exes, maybe 20 of their exes, maybe sending a group message. <laughs> Or maybe copy and pasting a message to everybody, but just maybe calling them babe or baby so they don't have to remember all the names. <laughs> but yeah, somebody wants gratification. Somebody's thinking about the way that somebody used to have sex with them, the way it felt. Somebody wants it back. This could even be some married people that are trying to get back together with their, with their side pieces. Yeah, somebody wants you back. Also, I feel like somebody wants to know if you're pregnant. Somebody wants to know if you're pregnant, and if you're not, they're going to try to get you pregnant. If you had a baby with this person in the past and you have not been with them for a while or you've been like avoiding them and they come back in, they want you pregnant again. Somebody wants to keep you. This time they feel like they, this time they're going to try to do it right. What I mean by right is actually wrong. I feel like somebody's trying to come in to try to trap you and they're like, yeah, instead of just making threats or whatever else or, you know, trying to hurt them, I'll just keep them pregnant. Just keep them barefoot and pregnant. Just nonstop, every, nine, every 10 months, pregnant. Every 40 weeks, pregnancy. I know that sounds sick and twisted, but it looks like that's somebody's literal ideas. Um, if you're currently pregnant, I feel like somebody feels like you're out of commission for a few months or for until, until the baby drops. And then once that baby drops, it shows here that somebody's gonna be like, okay, let's do it again. Gotta make sure nobody else is touching you. Gotta make sure you're not with anybody else. Or for some of you, it's a female that keeps trying to get pregnant because she feels like no other chip will want to be with a dude who's got a baby on the way. You're wrong. You know, I, I think this girl from my, I don't, a lot of people from my small town watch my videos, so I got to be careful what I say. But <laughs> everybody's going to know who she is because she's the only one who fucking did this. Um, this chick from my, it's not funny, guys. But, okay, I've got a nervous giggle. I'm not laughing because it's funny. It's just interesting. So this chick, she got pregnant by some dude in the town. Okay. I run, never mind. I was going to say no, because then it'll, it'll give away exactly. No, never mind. Huh. We share the same name. I'm just going to say that we have the same name. But anyway, so this girl, she got pregnant. She started dating another guy at like eight months pregnant. And everybody in the town was like, okay, I think you need to slow down a little bit. You're having a baby in a few months. You know, your, your hormones are raging. She's like, no, I'm cool. So the baby dropped. She ended up getting pregnant by the new guy. The new guy dumped her. She got, she met another guy while she was pregnant. As soon as the baby dropped, I'm not, I'm not kidding, guys. Just don't do this, okay? Just don't do this. I mean, she's a very nice person, but I mean, so she did it two more times. I don't have to keep... So there's, okay, yeah, literally 10 months apart, four kids. And I think she's currently pregnant now. But I mean, she's a really nice person and stuff. Just, I mean, just, I don't know. I don't want to say don't because then I'm kind of saying like, it's bad what she did. It's not so much bad. I mean, if I could do it all over again, I would have my kids back to back. I think it's probably better to have your kids back to back, right? Don't be an idiot like me and have them 15 years apart. I mean, that's just psychotic. So, I mean, I, I, maybe she's doing the right thing. Who, who am I to judge, right? Who is anybody to judge? But she's a very nice girl. She has a job, so it's not like she's like living off the government. She works very, very hard. Her kids are beautiful. She takes good care of them, everything under the sun. She's beautiful. She's a nice girl. I mean, I, I don't blame men for falling in love with her because she's really pretty. Um, I said too much. I don't know if I can edit that part out. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I'm rambling. It's retrograde. Oh no, here we go. But anyway, she's a lovely girl. All right, jamiesaver23.com. Ta-ta for now. Oh no.